equation in the world. You know when you were little and you'd get something that was really messy, like red paint, and you'd mix it in with something else that was really messy, like eggs, and then you'd mix that in with something else that was messy, like polyfiller, and you'd mix it all up as if you were going to make something amazing out of it, but what do you end up with? Just a big mess. You imagine if instead of that you got self-raising flour out of it. Now that would be bizarre. We're going to do something like that with maths. Okay, let's get some really important numbers in maths because there are some numbers in the universe that are more important than others. We'll start off with the number pi. We all know that pi is important. Pi is the number that you get when you divide the circumference of a circle by the diameter. And because of that, it comes up with all sorts of uh, area formulae and volumes and in geometry and trigonometry. It's a very important number. But we all know that pi is equal to 3.14 or 22 over 7, and in actual fact, it's equal to 3.14159265358979323846264338, and it just goes on and on forever. You can never actually write it down exactly. Does it really exist as a number then? Well, it, it exists kind of in between a gap, but we can't actually get into that gap to, to pin it down as to what it is. So it's a very important number, but it's a very messy number. Okay, uh, the second number we're going to look at is E. Now, E is the number which, if you multiply it by itself x times and plot the graph, the slope of that graph at every point is equal to the value of the graph. And there's only one number in the whole of the universe that that is true for, and that's E. And so it comes up in, in lots of important areas in maths, in calculus and logarithms and stuff like that. So a very important number, but again, a very messy number, because yes, it's 2.71, but it's actually 2.71828128845904523538, and it just goes on and on and on forever, just like Pi did. Okay, so two important numbers, two very messy numbers. The third very important number in mathematics is I. We call it I, engineers call it J, but we'll have a mock that. I is the square root of minus 1. Now, that does not exist. Pi and E, they're messy, but they exist. I does not exist. There is no number which, when you multiply by itself, equals minus 1. If you multiply a positive number by itself, you get a positive number. If you multiply a negative number by itself, you get a positive number. There is, there is, I does not exist. It's silly. However, mathematicians imagine the world where it does exist, because it's useful. And because imagine begins with the letter I, they call it I. Engineers can't spell, obviously. But I, it's a very important number. It comes up in solving equations and calculus and stuff like that. So very important, but again, ridiculously messy. OK, so we have the three most important numbers in mathematics now. And we're going to combine them in a very messy way. We're not just going to add them. We're going to do something very, very messy with them. And we'll see what happens. So first of all, what we're going to do is we're going to get e, and we're going to multiply it by itself pi times. Now, if we multiply e by itself twice, or e squared, well, then we'd expect that to be messy. But to multiply itself by, by itself pi times, we can't really do that, but we're going to do it, because we don't really know how much pi is, but we're going to do it, and we'll get a messy number. But next what we're going to do is we're going to multiply e to the pi by itself i times. So that will give us e to the i pi. Now, that is a stupid thing to do. You cannot do something the square root of minus 1 times. I, I doesn't exist said that. You know, you can have like pi apples if you had like three and a bit apples, but you can't have i apples, can you? Uh, are they there or not? I don't know. It doesn't exist. And similarly, you can't do something i times. If I asked you to, to, to put your hand up i times, have you done it yet? You don't know. You cannot multiply something by itself i times. It's a nonsense. But we're going to do it. Okay, so e to the i pi. What does that what, what kind of horrendous mess do we get from that? E to the i pi equals 
minus 1. That's, that's ridiculous. It, surely e to the i pi should be a non-existent imaginary made-up number because we've got an i in it. Or, or at least it should be one of those really, really long numbers that go on forever because we've got e and pi in it. Or for goodness sake, at least a fraction or, or a big little number. But minus 1? Isn't the universe amazing?